we're here for uh, today's uh, Junior Hockey Network hockey show with uh, head coach uh, Wayne Strahan of the Fort Francis Lakers of the Superior International Junior Hockey League. How are you today, Wayne? I'm good, Jay. How are you? Good. Can you comment on the past two games last week with a 9-2 win over the Iron Rangers and a tough loss against uh, the Thunder Bay uh, North Stars? Uh, well, our, f- our first game Thursday, uh, I thought we kind of got off to a slow start. Um, and, uh, you know, it was a, it was a good first period, I guess, to, to watch, uh, um, both game, both teams kind of went back and forth, but I just didn't think we had, the the jump that we needed and we kind of discussed it after the, uh, first period and, and then, uh, you know, more or less went to work, I guess we worked hard, uh, um, through the second period to to gain the lead and then uh continue it in the into the third so uh, it was good to see um uh again uh, it was uh it was a game we needed to to have success in and get the the two points to help our own cause and kind of achieve the the three game sweep of um the iron rangers that we had uh set out to to uh, achieve as a goal so um, then leading into, I guess, Saturday night against Thunder Bay, we were kind of hoping that momentum would carry forward. And, you know, I thought for the most part, we played, a, a pretty good hockey game. You know, the first period we, we put a lot of shots to the net. Um, if there was maybe, uh, two things that stuck out in that period and, and probably that really cost us the game was uh we we weren't going to the net with the hunger we needed to to score um even though we we were getting the opportunities um and our just our back check hurt us uh in them scoring uh two rebound goals uh with late guys coming in and and uh we just uh didn't didn't pick them up and you know, kind of spotted them the lead. I thought uh, we really outplayed them in the second period, and and obviously showed some good character to to battle back and tie the game. And and then in the third, it was just a matter of uh, you know not I guess outscoring them and and them getting a couple goals uh, to win the hockey game. So you know, could a game that could have went either way. Um, you know, both teams played well, but. Uh, they found the uh, a way to hit the back of the net when they had to, and and we didn't. So um, we'll move past it, and obviously we got a big game tomorrow night against uh, the Norskis. And like I say, coming in this week with a one-on-one record from last week, what are you what are you stressing heading into the practices that you do have this week? Well, today we. We uh, did some tweaking to our our D zone and kind of asked for some input um, from the players and and if they uh, the changes that I wanted to make uh, they thought they they could uh, perform and and obviously execute it and um, so we went through that uh, pretty hard today and and talked about our back checking and and, and whatnot and you know against the Norskis are. If we can't shut them down uh, defensive wise, it, it's going to make it make it uh, tough on ourselves. So um, that was kind of our mentality today. Uh, obviously, worked on our special teams as well. But um, if we can continue to, uh, I guess, strengthen our team defense, um, I think it's only going to help us here down the stretch. And you, you have three, like you mentioned, you have three games this coming week. One against the, the, the North Stars. Uh... The North Stars this weekend, two against uh, Thief River. Um, with, like say, Parker um, Simonson, who's leading the scores with the North Skis, how do you shut down a player like that to, to control the outcome of the game? Well, I think, I think you just have to be in his face all the time. Uh, you need it. You need to uh, take his time and space away. He's a he's a fast, creative uh, uh, hockey player that reads the ice well and, and makes guys around him better and. Um, so I guess if you can kind of get under his skin and, and make sure you're finishing checks against him and, and not give him that time and space he needs to, to be creative, then, 
um, you've probably done a good job in in uh, kind of trying to neutralize them or, or neutralizing them. And, uh, you know, but the, you can't just key on him. They have a lot of uh, good hockey players and, um, you know, right through their their forward lines and into their D, they, they have guys who can step up to to uh, help their situation as well. So, um, you know, obviously we'll take care of uh, um, or try and take care of Parker when he's on the ice, but um, we know that uh, we have to play strong defensively against uh, uh, no matter who's out for them um, in situations. Yeah, and, and, and again, it's five, five, five uh, players and one goalie that are on the ice at all times, so it's not just one player, right? For sure, um, I didn't really hear what you said, the last part of it there. Oh no problem. Like you say, it's when on the ice, you, there's always five players and one goalie, so you always it's not just Parker you got to worry about. It's a, whoever's on the ice at that time, right? Yeah, and you know he's he's obviously uh, done well throughout the year, but uh, they have a lot of uh, guys that can uh, bring uh, bring the firepower and and always put the puck in the net. So. Um, you just you got to work hard and, and make sure that you're uh, uh, trying to be as physical as possible against them to shut them down. Now, c- coming like say off the one one week last week, was there anybody you're impressed with on, on your roster heading into this week? Uh, you know, I, I've I've really liked how uh, even Ian Jarvis has played uh, uh, since coming back from the break, and and even. Um, um, before we left at Christmas, uh, you know, we kind of challenged him at December 1st, and he's kind of, uh, I guess, risen to that challenge, and, and you know, he's had a lot of success in, in uh, creating offense right now, and, um, you know, I think he might have 10 or 11 goals now, and I would bet that uh, eight of them have come within the last uh uh, month here or so, and and uh, so we've we've definitely liked how he's played, and um, obviously Adam Withers has uh, been a key catalyst to um, our six. I guess our success here. Obviously, we didn't win the last game, but uh, through the four games that we we had won in a row, um, he was a big part of the scoring and and. Uh, uh, creating again a lot of chances for his uh, um, line as well, but you know everyone's kind of stepped up here in uh, some manner and in some way, and and you know with uh, the lineup we have, that's what we need. Uh, you know we don't really have a so-called superstar that's um, going to put the puck in the net all the time for us. We we need a kind of a, a lineup that uh, everyone's contributing and and that seems to be what's happening lately in in our uh, in uh, what's happening or processing here for us uh, through the month and um, you know Ian was uh, Jarvis was huge uh, last game scoring a couple big goals and um, you know Jack Bernie had a few points uh so it's, we're getting that contribution we need, and hopefully we can continue that to, to help our cause here and try to further growth down the stretch here. And and it's huge when any player steps up, but when you have two veteran players that are, are stepping up, uh, it uh, it also helps the roster with uh, with with young uh, rookies that are that are new, right? For sure, um, but you know if you look at if you look on the, kind of the flip side of it. Uh, some of our our first year players or younger guys have been the ones that we've relied on uh, um, quite a bit throughout the year. Uh, Nick Lucas and Jaden Ness have have performed well and and maybe been our most consistent uh, point getters. Uh, no Love Day and Hunter Buzzy uh, play well together as well in in their contribution and. Um, Obviously, Ian Tukany as well uh, is another young guy. I think those five guys might lead the team in, in scoring right now. And um, but that's not to say that uh, obviously our our veterans have uh, definitely helped out as well. It's just uh, um, for us to be successful, we need uh, four and one through twelve that's dressed that night, all, all doing something to help out. So. 
um, if we're going to have success, that's going to be the way it has to be. Now, heading in probably one of the toughest weeks between now and the end of the season, um, is there anybody, like you say, can you talk about anybody you've lost to injury the, the last uh, couple games? Well, we've, we've, uh, haven't had, uh, I guess, our captain, Julian Uraniak, in the lineup, uh, oh, it must be, uh, through three games now, um, that we, that he's been out, uh, he gets reevaluated today, uh, this afternoon, so we're hoping, uh, he obviously gets the, the go to, to start, uh, I guess, hockey, uh, related practices and whatnot again, and, and, um, you know, he won't be ready for tomorrow, but, uh, maybe by the end of the week, uh, we're hoping, uh, we're not going to push him, uh, uh, if he has the opportunity to be back, uh, at showcase time uh, next week, uh, that might be best scenario. But uh, obviously, we miss him. He does a lot for the team uh, um, in both ends of the rink, and and uh, definitely a guy we've relied on to play a lot of different roles for us uh, this season. Uh, and he's uh, you know hasn't complained. He's answered the bell every night for us, so we definitely miss him. And, other than that, we're we're healthy and, and have a full roster uh, ready to go. Well, Wayne, I uh, can't thank you enough for uh, being on the show this week, and uh, good luck with, uh, like I said, the two games against the Norskis and uh, uh, the, the North Stars also this week. Okay, appreciate it, Jay. Thank you. Thank you.